Hi guys, Nane here, and welcome to my July Booktuber shoutouts video. Uh, for some reason, these always get disliked, so I guess other people don't like discovering new channels. But I do. Shout out to like one of my favourite videos to watch. If you're a booktuber yourself, you've probably seen me say on your video at some point something along the lines of shout out to my crack cocaine. So uh, yeah, I'm going to keep doing these. I'm going to shout out some more channels I've been loving recently. So without further ado, let's get started. So number one, we have Noiseless Madman. So this is actually Ryan from Madman Reads and Rocks. He has a second channel and on there he puts some of his music, some of his poetry, basically anything that he feels like doesn't fit on his main booktube channel. Honestly, I would recommend to subscribe to both of his channels. He has this like wicked dry sense of humor as well which just makes his videos a lot of fun reads a super wide variety of stuff and in general he's just a really good dude as well so yeah check out noiseless madman because that's only got like four subscribers and is recently launched and uh check out madman reads and rocks as well if you get a chance Number two, we have Creepy Quills. So I came across her channel recently. I actually really love her channel trailer video as well. It's like a work of art. But as you can kind of guess from her uh, username, well, she doesn't just read horror, but she does read horror. Uh, again, another one of these channels that reads quite a wide variety of different books. And for me, that's what I'm looking for because that's what I do. So, uh, and again, she's another relatively new booktuber and uh, could definitely use some support. Number three, we have Time for Books. So it's no secret, that, you know, I've like time for books his channel for ages uh, I love her like collection videos she's also big into thrifting and like going to Dollar Tree and all that stuff which we don't have here in the UK and she actually recently sent me a package like a surprise package for my uh, belated birthday where she sent me a couple of books and she sent me a little note being like uh, these are your, your first Dollar Tree books which I was very excited about Number four, we have Jaden Reads. So I shouted out Jaden in my last video, but because I did that as like the three little words tag, I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail. Basically, again, she's another new booktuber, and uh, I think she's coming up to around 100 subscribers now, something like that. But she's one of those channels where you watch her and you just feel as though she's destined for great things, if that makes sense. You know, if you ever, you see these channels sometimes, like Cody's Book Corner is another great example for me, where like I came across her when she had like 200 subscribers, and now she has like 10k or something, and uh, you just, I just always knew she was going to be great, and uh, the same is true of Jaden Reads, so just go and check out her channel. Then we have Richardson Reads, who I haven't given a shout out to for a while, but his videos are great. I used to love his old bookshelf tours back in the day. He's also the only booktuber I know of who reads like nautical books every now and then, which is uh, pretty cool if you ask me. And uh, yeah, he's just another one of these. He's a really nice guy. He sometimes hangs out with like Steve Donahue as well, uh, goes to Brattle Bookshop and all this stuff. So I kind of live vicariously through his channel. All right, then we have Bookish, and Bookish is just one of those booktubers who seems like a, a super wise owl. Uh, he's sort of very intelligent, very well-spoken, very articulate. Again, reads a great variety of different literature. Also has some really interesting discussions from time to time as well. It's one of those channels where I never really know what he's going to upload, but I do know it's going to be interesting. And also, it's just a very relaxing channel too, so it's not super high energy or anything like that so it makes it quite a good one when it's like two in the morning and i can't sleep then we have wolf shop publishing i wanted to give a shout out to cam from wolf shop publishing for sending me a really nice t-shirt not the one i'm wearing today it's actually at my other half's house because my washing machine's broken and you need to wash it very specifically to make sure the t-shirt stays in good condition and it's like my favorite t-shirt so i'm going to but uh, yeah, Cam has a, a store out now. He's also a writer, but he also does some great author tube videos, some great book tube videos, and uh, just an all-round decent guy. And he has some cool tattoos as well. All right, then we have Benjamin Ray Barnes, who used to be Mad Mystical Monk, so I wanted to give him a shout out. It has been a while since his name changed now, but uh, as you can guess from his old name, Mad Mystical Monk, he reads a lot of you know a, quite a wide variety of different stuff, a lot of like things like Buddhist texts and like religious texts. Uh, some sci-fi here and there, some really odd non-fiction. It's great. I said to his, him on one of his videos recently, like, you have the weirdest reading taste of anyone I, I can think of, and it's great. Don't change, you know? All right, then we have Reading Fandom, and his name is Dom, so there's that little pun in his name. His goal is to read uh, 52 books this year, and I know he sort of started BookTube fairly recently, so he's trying to catch up, which I think is quite an admirable mission of his. He reads some really interesting stuff as well, so recently he did a, vi a video on uh, The Great Gatsby, the differences between the book and the movie. Uh, he's done some non-fiction here and there as well, and uh, yeah, it's just another one where... It he doesn't talk about the same books as everyone else, and so I really appreciate that. And uh, considering he's relatively new to BookTube, I think he's quite charismatic and is doing a good job with the editing and stuff, and, uh, you know, just a natural, really. 
And then we have Bucks, Bunny and Me. And, I mean, do you need any more of a reason to go and check out her channel than the fact that it's Bucks, Bunny and Me? So she has a bunny who's very cute. Uh, again, she's another she's a relatively recent find for me. I think she's been around for, not for ages, but for a, a while at least. But um, yeah, that means that there's a nice backlog of her videos for you to check out as well. And she's one of these booktubers where it doesn't really matter to me how much overlap we have in our tastes, although there is some, but really uh, I'm, I'm there for the bunny, to be honest. So there we have it. Those are my July booktuber shout outs. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which booktubers you're loving at the moment. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe to myself and any of these booktubers who take your fancy for more bookish videos. And I'll see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.